Hi, it's me again with Corel Tips and tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and there's a grid line. And I don't I don't know if it'll print or not, but uh, he can't do anything with his logo because of that. So there are two ways we can do it, and I don't think one of the ways is going to help you. Because uh, if you're if the customer sent you this and you open up another page and it doesn't have it, then it's embedded in this page. So one thing we can do is select that and right click and copy, open a new page, right click and paste. And there you have your item. And if, of course, if you're going to engrave it, you want to make it black and well, well, there's a couple ways we can do that. Uh, well, let me just show you real quick. I would just left click, right click, and then just uh, fill in what you want to be, you know, if you want the letters engraved versus you want, I'm using the smart fill tool, or if you want that engraved, you have to uh, do the interior part. And then of course the letters. So that would look pretty cool if you had one of them engraved and this is called reverse engraving. But that's beside the point. This is what he's got. And I've seen this problem before. So go to Tools, Options, Corel Draw, and right up here, Documents. And right here is Grid. So you might be opening up, it'll be here, but go down to Grid and show Grid Lines as Lines and just uncheck that. And then as soon as you hit OK, the Grid Lines are gone. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.